I was going to go to law school. Uh, I was a political science major, planning on law school. I started getting interested in business like junior, senior year. And uh, I eventually went home and I saw my sister's prototype. But I went home for uh, the summer and I saw it as an amazing opportunity. And so I, um, I got really interested in entrepreneurship and we just went with it. And we kept going and going and going until we kind of struck gold with it. And you know, I was never expected to be an entrepreneur, but here I am. Yeah, so the, I, I always really wanted to get an MBA, um, especially towards the end of you know, being here in my undergrad. I was kind of got more interested in business. Um, and so I was working on Nightcap at the time. And, but you know, it was very early and it wasn't big at the time at all. And uh, you know, I don't want to put all my eggs in one basket. And so I thought that the, the MBA would help me both manage the business and also set me up for the future in life if you know, either after Nightcap or if Nightcap didn't work out. Um, I thought the MBA would be an awesome opportunity to you know, just do two things at once and uh, you know, set myself up for the future. I was uh, able to come here and have my resume looked at and worked on and edited and that helped me apply for jobs before I was really into entrepreneurship and I was trying to figure out what I wanted to do and what internships I could get. Um, the uh, help with the resume it really, really helped me. I found a ton of value here with the entrepreneurship program, uh, being able to utilize the resources, the pitch competitions helped us fund the, you know, fund everything when we were bootstrapping and really got us started. I don't know if we would be here at this point without them. Uh, the law clinic that was available through the entrepreneurship uh, college was a huge help, uh, being able to you know, pay for trademarks and, and just getting legal advice on, on everything from what to put on your packaging to um, you know, filing stuff with the USPTO. Uh, not having to pay a lawyer for that and just paying the government fees was an awesome, awesome resource. And we also utilized the, the textile center at the entrepreneurship school and uh, they tested out, will these fabrics stretch out in the wash machine? How many washes will last? You know, does the ink stay on it? Um, so that was an amazing opportunity to be able to have that and you know, just be able to be here and do that. So we did not do very well in the very beginning. It took like six months to sell any of them. I mean, it was like we couldn't sell anything in the first six months, and it was, uh, you know, it was a little hard. Uh, but we thought that, you know, we really believed in our product, and we believed that we could really gain traction, and we were just testing out different things, and eventually we found, uh, you know, platforms that really helped us market it, and uh, it really took off after, you know, eight, nine months. For students interested uh, in entrepreneurship, I would say that college is the time to take risks. Uh, you, know, you have a huge support system here with all the resources. Um, and the second thing is that you know, not everything works out right away. Sometimes you have to test different things to see what works and what doesn't. Um, and you know, if you see a pathway forward with your business, even if it's not doing well in the beginning, uh, just keep going at it until you can't you know, see a pathway forward anymore. Um, and I think you know, being at FSU helped me a ton with that.